Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Brighton, Michigan, and you want to know what it's like to live here? Well, you're in luck because in this video, I am right here in Brighton, and I'm going to take you around town, talk about some of the things to do, why this is a great family community. We're standing right here in Mill Pound right now. But as always, we're taking you around town and talking about the communities, what it's like to live here, and giving you guys a behind the scene look um, if you're thinking about relocating here. So stay tuned because we're getting after it right now. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good, the bad, and the ugly about living right here in Ann Arbor in the Brighton area, then go ahead and tap that subscribe button and hit that little bell so you're notified every time we come out with a new video and to learn about the current market here. My name is Eric Meldrum and I do videos just like this on what it's like to live in the cities surrounding Ann Arbor and the Ann Arbor Metro. So if you guys want to know more information about these drop your comments below. I love to get the comments and answer any of the questions that you guys have. I answer all those personally. And if you guys are thinking about making a move to Ann Arbor in the surrounding area, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I even put my Calendly link down below so you can book a time with me or one of my agents and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to the Ann Arbor and Brighton area. All right, so we're in downtown Brighton right now. And one of the great things I love about living here in Brighton is the outdoors and just the amount of things to do with you and your family um, outside. So the downtown is super, super nice, um, super clean as well. I can't get over that enough how well, you know, the city takes care of things. But we are right on Mill Pond here and just look, look at this view. I mean, come on. What other city has a walkway over body of water, all right? Behind me here, we have what's called the Imagination Station. This is an outdoor playscape for the kids. It's got tons of stuff, slide swings, tire swing, you know, you name it. My girls love coming down here and just kind of letting loose, running around, getting some energy out. But behind me here as well, so this is, this is Main Street here. So we have all the restaurants and everything right on Main Street. And then right off of Main Street, we have the amphitheater. We'll head over there in a little bit. So there's outdoor music, um, bands come for live music. There's, you can rent it out and host, you know, events. And a lot of people do that. So a lot of like nonprofits and, you know, other local businesses will rent it out and just throw parties. In fact, on May 21st, as we're shooting this video in a couple of weeks, we have an event downtown right over here off of Imagination Station, just on the other side of it in Heine Alley. And it's gonna be a family fun day for families to come out and just enjoy. So we're gonna have some carnival games. A couple of local businesses are gonna be providing some ice cream, some cotton candy. We'll have popcorn machine out there and kids can come get you know, a uh, free gift bag and just in, go enjoy the downtown. And that's really what this city is all about. There's so many events taking place, you know, every single weekend. It's really hard to keep up with them as well. You know, as we're going through every single weekend, we're like, okay, what's next, right? We have the Taste of Brighton. Um, Ladies Night Out is, a, is every, I think it's the third Thursday of, of every quarter. Um, there's another couple of events that just popped up, Smoking Jazz Fest. Um, there's a lot of outdoor, you know, things on Main Street as well. So you can kind of check those out. And we'll put some resources below, you know, to those links in the description. Um, so you guys can, can link off to that. All right, so one of the cool things about Mill Pond is there's a ton of ducks down here. So you can actually come down and it's just a really nice place to grab a cup of coffee, you know, sit in the morning, you know, kind of relax, look out at this, this body of water. And that's one of the great things about Brighton as well is we have tons of lakes. So you're surrounded by water and if you like, Boating and lake life, Brighton is probably the place for you because we have a ton of those lake lake houses, um, you know, ranging from you know 300,000, which are just you know small cottages, and up to you know 1.2 million um, if you can get onto a nice lake and get a uh, rehabbed home that has been completely renovated, and those things are absolutely amazing. One of my favorite lakes here in Brighton is actually Big Crooked Lake. Um, so there's Big Crooked and Small Crooked and then right in between both of those is Round Lake. Um, that chain of lakes is, is super cool. 
they have a lot going on there because it's actually part of um, Oak Point Country Club as well. So if you like golfing, you can literally be at Oak Point golfing. The family can go head over to the lake. And if you're living in Oak Point, they have some slips that you can, you can rent down there as well, um, which is super cool. But there's 20 other great lakes here in the Brighton area that we can name off. And we'll do some videos about those as well as, uh, as time goes on. So you guys can get a, a look at what those lakes are like here as well. So I just came over to the amphitheater um, here in Brighton. So this is the amphitheater. I'll kind of turn this around so you can see. This is where they do outdoor music fests. Um, they have live bands come down every Friday night in the summer. They have a live band playing down here and people just gather, you know, you can go hang out here or over here where the, the coffee shop is, um, the Rayton Coffee House and Theater. And behind me right here is Main Street. So you can literally be on Main Street listening to music, just having a good time or be at your favorite restaurant, you know, downtown as well while these things are going on. It's just, a, again, it's a great family oriented community. If you're looking for that sense of community where people truly embrace the, the family lifestyle, then Brighton is, is a great place for you guys. So one of the things that we actually love about the uh, location here in Brighton, and this is frankly why a lot of other families move to this particular area, is primarily for the access to highways. So Brighton is, is conveniently located right off of 23 and 96, which are two main highway systems that run north and south and east and west. So you can literally hop on if you're working in Ann Arbor, you are about a 15 minute drive from Brighton to Ann Arbor. Okay, so that's how much how long it takes. If you're working in Novi, then you are literally about 10 to 15 minutes completely east of, of Brighton. You could even get up to Fenton in about 15 minutes and then over to Lansing, I think in about 35 minutes, you know, to, to Lansing. So a little bit longer drive, you know, on the on the west side, but you know, it's a great location if you're working in any of those areas um, to, you know, commute on a daily basis. You have access to the highway system, you know, right there as well. All right, so we're gonna head over to Main Street right now and check out some of the local restaurants. One of the ones I want to recommend you go to absolutely first, if you love tacos, you have to go to El Arbol. It is a taco window place. Um, they do have inside seating, but I just love the fact that they have a taco window. Like who else does that? Like who thought of that to have a taco window? That is super cool. And I might get a taco right now. Who knows if I'm hungry or not. Um, but let's head over there and check it out. We also were right by this little waterway. Okay, so this is off of the mill pond and it runs down into a river um, so it's kind of cool to just come here and and hang out listen to that water rushing i actually think it's kind of peaceful i don't know about you drop in the comments below if you think that's peaceful all right so this is el arbol one of the best mexican restaurants here in brighton michigan um, the taco window is just behind me it's super convenient there's usually a line there about lunchtime or dinner time um, to grab a taco but what we love doing is grabbing one of these tacos and they have vegan options and all that good stuff. Shout out to uh, Steve Doc and the whole entire team. But one of the things that we love doing with my family is grabbing some of these tacos here, heading over to the amphitheater um, and that yellow stadium seating and just sitting down, you know, overlooking Mill Pond, having a quick bite to eat, you know, and letting the kids run around. My girls absolutely love dancing on the, uh, the stage there. Um, almost to the to a fault where we have to bring out music for them to dance now So they, they're requesting songs and we have our cell phones up and we're holding holding music out um, It's just a good time and everybody loves it other kids join in and and do it So it's, it's really cool But if you guys are coming into town visiting you have to check out our bowl one of the best Mexican restaurants here in Brighton All right So the big question some of you guys might have is what is the real estate market like here in Brighton? And just like everything around the United States at this time, as of shooting this video in May, um, things are starting to cool down a little bit, uh, which is a kind of a good relief um, for everybody's sanity in this market. But uh, interest rates have gone up and it's giving a little bit of 
of pressure relief to the housing market here in, in Brighton at least and in the Ann Arbor market. Um, we're starting to see less competition on homes, less showings, which is a good indication that, you know, some of these properties are gonna go, you know, a little bit longer on market and you're gonna have an opportunity to breathe a little bit. But we are, we're right downtown here at one of the new developments uh, that I like. I think these places are actually pretty cool. Um, so if you wanna be downtown Brighton, there is plenty of options. You have condos, you have single family homes, um, you can find some really good deals here under 300,000 um, in the city. They're very rare. They're going to be smaller houses, but that price point still does exist. I would say the average price point to get into downtown is going to be around 350,000 is a good healthy budget. And then any of the surrounding subdivisions, you know, you're going to be looking at around 450 is a good budget and prices go up all the way to a million in some of these subdivisions. Um, but these are luxury townhomes right here, right behind them is uh, is Mill Pond. So they overlook the water, which is super cool. These went, I believe for around 700 when they were first built. And I think some of them even sold in the 900s. Last time I checked, there's been a couple of resales. So I'll look that up, um, you know, here today but there's been a couple of resales on here and I believe they sold in the mid eights, 900s. You know, again, if I'm looking at my data correctly. All right, so one of the nice things about these is you have a terrace um, on the third level. It overlooks the entire, you can basically see all of downtown Brighton, which is which is actually pretty cool. Um, but I, I like these. I mean, these places are super modern. You know, they're, they got a nice, nice curb appeal to them and they don't stick out like a sore thumb. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna head over to Second Street right now. I'm gonna show you the condo complex that everybody is talking about here in Brighton. All right, so we're here on Second Street. These are the condos that everybody's talking about. This is the most controversial development that's been downtown Brighton. Raised a lot of eyebrows with people, but after it was all said and done, I think they did a pretty good job bringing some industrial type condominiums down here. They're actually pretty affordable, um, starting in the, like the mid twos to, to 300s. So these are gonna resell and probably sell for a little bit more once they, they turn over, but it is affordable downtown living and there's not too many condo complexes downtown. So I think it was a good addition. Um, the other condo complexes that are downtown, they are more of like townhouses. So they're walk-ups, a lot of stairs. This one has an elevator in it so you can get up there. Um, so they did something, you know, they were thinking about the people who wanted to be downtown living, but Brighton didn't have anything like that. So they filled the need. I think it's pretty cool. Local builder did the project and it raised a lot of eyebrows with some locals, but you guys be the judge and drop in the comments below. Let me know what you think. One of the questions I get a lot is about the schools here in Brighton and everybody wants to know what what the rankings are and how good they are and there's in this community you have so many different options you know from public school which are all great they're all ranked very highly um, Ann Arbor is also ranked highly Celine is probably number one and then you have Northville Plymouth which are, are great school systems too but Brighton is, is way up there um, they are great school system but you have in the area you have a bunch of different options. You have private schools, you have charter schools, you have Catholic schools. So whatever you guys are looking for in terms of school systems, um, you have multiple options here and they're all absolutely phenomenal. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that tour of downtown Brighton. It's one of the best hidden gems north of Ann Arbor. One of the best family oriented communities as well. There's a lot of others, Dexter, Celine, but Brighton definitely ranks high. And if that's important to you guys on where you guys wanna live, definitely check out Brighton. Um, it ranks up there pretty high for us. Again, we live here, so I'm biased. I, I'm gonna tell you all the great things about living here because it is just one of those towns that when we came here, we fell in love with it because of the downtown, this pond, the mill pond, the imagination station, everything that I just showed you and we just talked about is one of the reasons we fell in love with Brighton and decided to make it our home, and you might too. So if you guys have questions, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to answer those. Again, I don't have people who answer them, no robots, no team of people that are, are, are scouring the comments, trying to find the good ones and deleting the bad ones. I'll answer all of them personally. And if you guys are thinking about relocating to the Ann Arbor or Brighton area, Go ahead and give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I even put a link below so you can schedule a Calendly with me or one of my teammates. 
and we'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to the Brighton area. If you want more videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe and tap the little bell so you're notified to learn about the current market right here in the Brighton area. And until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.